Greetings and salutations, Viking. Welcome to Superpowers 3. It recently released, and uh, I thought I'll hop in here to make a helpful guide for those being lost with the game. And uh, with no further ado, we're just going to hop into it. Superpowers 3 is like a modern geopolitical sim uh, with uh, different setups that are happening on Earth, and you try to just, you know, do better or be the better politician. It has an interesting take in terms of uh, your choosing what kind of nation you want. You're choosing the setting you want. You say North Korea situation. Uh, we're gonna go for sandbox and I will pick the my home country over here. We're gonna go with uh, R, R, where are you? Romania. And I shall be an uh, Democratic Alliance of Hungarian and Romania. Interesting. I shall be the people's movement. Yeah, difficult and normal. There's mods supports to it. And we're clicking next. What I do like here very much is that you are creating your own sort of avatar that represents you. I've uh, done mine already. Although he is uh, looking very oldish here. So here, brown facial hair, brown, and uh, I am a way younger. Hairiness. That's interesting. So you have a few options to like uh, modifying your persona and uh, having neat little looking avatars with different clothes, different uh, hairstyles, ethnicity where he's coming from, and uh, clothing that you can place on. But he kind of looks like me, so let's hop right into it. You start a game now, all modifications will be saved. Yes, that's okay. That's all good. So. Once it's loaded, it will uh, throw you right on top of your country. And. Uh, <laughs> they told me I could be anything. So I became a loading tip. That is not very helpful, Mr. Loading Tip. That is not very helpful at all. What is. Why? There we go. Was not loading that much the last time I just like took it open and made a swing at it. But yeah, I hope this beginning guide will be helpful for you and uh, makes you understand it more clearly. So we have scenario objections. A objection is conquer the world in the sandbox scenario. We have no success conditions, no feeling conditions. It's just conquer everything. And uh, what we have here is. Uh, we're with Romania. I like the worldview, not gonna lie. And uh, a little bit of military going on. A little bit. And uh, I would say, I'm gonna try and, uh, so they're on rank 86th of military. We're rank 60. Moldavia is rank 83. So how about how about we are just capturing? Let's grab you. You have uh, when you grab or select military, you have these movements section that you can do, and with that you can move move things around. We have here some U-boat. So we're gonna move over here. You guys gonna move over here. You guys are gonna move over here. Oh, do I have to merge you? Merge units. Merge your units. Move them. I'm confused. They work. No, you're gonna stay there. You're gonna get some more reinforcements from back here. There we go. You're gonna move also nearby. 
And then we're gonna grab this whole unit and tell it to merge. And then you guys move in here. And you guys moving in here. Beautiful. And tell you all to merge to one beautiful unit. So, what you do here is uh, you can alter what you put money into, what you want your poli uh, policy to be in terms of uh, demography. You can uh, choose what kind of level of control you want them. If they have, for example, free internet, you want to choose to focus on having control of it or have high control on it. That will make your population like you less or more. Uh, then you have over here in stability where you can decide what kind of things are legal, illegal, and accept it. Same goes for your money budget. You can decide in which kind of direction you want to spend money in. Uh, you can see what it costs you money. And of course, then over here in military, you can have uh, all kinds of secret services, forces to uncover and put money into. But UI and tutorial on this is sadly very terribly done. It needs high improvements. There needs to be a tutorial that guides you through what you can do, uh, how to function things and how they work. They just toss you in here not knowing what to do. And the only thing that I have really discovered is that I can click over here and start a war with Moldavia and then uh, click over here and say the same with uh, my forces as well and tell them to go and attack as well. And... Uh, that's basically it! That is basically it. I cannot click on the other faction and interact with them in terms of political uh, interactions. I can only just invest my money into military forces, tell them to attack X, Y, Z, and uh, take apart their military. And uh, that's it. That's it so far. That is all. So my guide is over. All I can tell you, deinstall the game and uh, hope and pray for a good introduction and some more features. This game feels very unfinished, although the in initial intention of it might be a good approach. Graphically, is it's okay, it's okay, but in depth and mechanical wise, other than pushing some sliders back and forth and telling them how much to invest in things. There's no much to do. And of course, you know, raging war and move your soldiers around and do things. Duh. That is, <laughs> that is basically it. And with that, I bid you farewell. And uh, please wait before you buy this game. Make sure to let it evolve more, and I hope they do. Because uh, the initial idea of it is intriguing, and it's good, and I would like to play this, and I would like to love it. But I can't. I just can't. Until next time. Bye-bye.